to the channel guys i'm your official partnered content creator for expansive worlds darth sloan and we are out here just fishing around mainly for cutthroat right now but that's the point of this video we're going to talk about how to catch diamonds we've got one uh, swimming right for our robber right now let's see what we've got here oh he looks decent we're fishing with eggs out here in a well-known diamond spot the cutthroat trout which is one of my first pieces of advice for you is go where diamonds have been caught before guys if you're wondering there were to catch diamonds how to catch diamonds i'm going to give you some tips but at the end of the day it's rng Right off the bat, we catch a gold cutthroat trout. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, is there are so many, there's days you'll go and you'll catch several diamonds. And then there's days that you'll go and you'll not catch any. And when it's RNG, what can we do? You put yourself in a situation to where you create your own luck if you've ever heard that time that term before but if you're after a certain you know you want to do a certainty and take the guesswork out of it fish where diamonds have been caught before you know there are times when i'm i just want to go exploring and say let's go find a new spot you know but if you're just desperate and you're like man i've not caught a diamond in forever and you really want to catch a diamond these are some tips that i have for you and it's not a hundred percent but you can create your own luck. Put yourself in good situations and good things will happen. This spot that I'm in right now, we just caught that gold cutthroat trout. I created my own luck because this spot is where the world record at the moment, cutthroat trout has been caught according to the official angler discord. Here we are on the map, as you see, Known cutthroat diamond spot there, known spot here as well where I'm at. I just don't have the icon here. It is to the south of Roaring Devil. You saw some of the fish that were caught at the beginning. Some of the diamonds, just threw some random ones in there. And just about all of them have one thing in common. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, all except for the Orid and the Arctic Char. I wasn't fishing. For that fish when I caught that diamond. That's the secret, guys. If you target a specific fish, you're eliminating the possibility a lot of times of catching other diamonds that may be swimming around in this body of water we're fishing in right now. So, couple tips that I'll leave you with. In this situation, we're on a river and it doesn't really list what is here. But over time, you'll learn what fish are there by trying different baits and things like that. So like, for example, I know here that there are kokanee salmon here, cutthroat, obviously, rainbow, and I think brook trout I've caught through here too. So I know those four fish are in here. Now, if I want to target those, or catch all of those, I can use spinners and spoons, and all those will bite right here. Mostly what I catch if I use those is kokanee here. I have caught some goads here. I've caught, a, this might be where I caught my diamond. I'm not sure, it's somewhere along through here, I think. You need to find a bait. For example, when you look at certain fish, I'm mainly, I'm main, mainly fishing for cutthroat here, and they bite on eggs. But let's look at the kokanee. Kokanee does not. So I've eliminated kokanee. There's so many kokanee in here. 
If I wasn't using eggs, I would be catching kokanee after kokanee. It's like they're just more aggressive of a striker or something. But the thing that most of these fish have in common is I was going for other fish when I caught them. So what you want to do, know what fish are there. Use a bait that they will bite, okay? So like, for example, if I want to catch kokanee or whatever, I'm using a size six spoon right here. I'm going to cast out through here. Now it's turning dark, so I may not get too much action here. But now let's look at the handbook again. I know kokanee's in here. They bite spoon, right? Rainbow. Spinner, pearl barley, dough. But if I hit tab, spoon. They hit spoon. Brook trout, spoon. So I can catch anything in here on the spoon. Now, if I'm in a competition, that's probably not a good idea because like tonight is Tackle Tuesday with Scarecrow and Bro Bra, Big Rig and Tony and Doan and C. Joe. And if we're talking diamonds and I'm not talking about a competition, I'm just out fishing, which most of you are doing. You're just wanting to go out and catch a diamond. I'm using a size six spoon and that'll catch everything in here. Here is the official angler discord. All the while the angler discord and I highly advise you to be in that. Under the resource hub, which is the angler chat, you got general chat resource hub. To the bait chart and all these resources in here, you can find um, hot spots. For example, Golden Ridge Reserve help sheet. When we pull this up, We got GRR fish right here. Cutthroat, for example, is what I'm fishing for today. See spot number two right here. And then over here is spots one, three, and oh, I guess they've added another spot. Just didn't label it for yet. But all these places here is where cutthroat have been caught before. And then there's a few other spots that I know of, like right here. Saw a guy catch a diamond here yesterday. Even though they've caught a diamond there, doesn't mean you're going to catch one there. It does mean that it is possible to catch one there because the habitat is, is right for it. Now let's click on the hook chart. I'm using a size six spinner and here's why. That'll catch me silver cutthroat. Okay. Now let's get the brook trout. That'll also catch me a silver brook trout. Um, let's look at kokanee. It'll catch me a silver kokanee. What about rainbow? All the way down to bronzes for rainbow. So that six hook is just a good number. And people have this misconception. It's like, yeah, but I want to catch a diamond. Diamonds will bite down. Okay. All this means, this color coded thing, you can catch goads and diamonds. They'll come down and bite this number six spoon. What it means is you're not going to catch bronzes. Smaller fish won't bite up, but bigger fish will bite down. And it is, this isn't confirmed, but it is widely believed from friends of mine like DW Stevie and people that catch a lot of diamonds. It is widely believed that when you first spawn into the map, you have random diamonds on that map, but you don't know where they are or what fish they are. If a diamond didn't spawn to the particular fish you're going after, then you have to catch some smaller fish to make room for that diamond to spawn in. So this is why Stevie and some of the best fishermen that catch a lot of diamonds use smaller hooks because number one, diamonds will drop down and bite the smaller hook anyway, even if they're already in there. Number two, if you catch a bunch of smaller fish, you can cause a diamond to spawn in. So the best scenario is to use the smaller bait. That's my number one strategy for you guys. That's my big secret. Use a smaller bait or smaller hook, smaller lure, whatever you want to call it. People make the mistake of saying, oh, I want to catch a diamond brook trout. I'm going to use a size three because that's what catches diamonds. Well, you're going to go to all these bodies of water and you're not going to catch any fish. If you're lucky and a brook trout diamond spawned in when you generated the map or when you spawned in onto multiplayer, because everybody has their own fishing population. If you spawned in and a diamond brook trout just happened to spawn in that body of water that you're fishing in, then 
Use that number three. Yeah, you'll catch it. But the odds of that is very rare because there's a lot of water and there's a lot of fish. So if you use the six hook or the six spoon, that's how I caught my diamond brook trout. There we go. Weird thing is it shows me as Darth Sloan on the map. This seems pretty big. Whoa! Whoa! Not what we were after, but I will take it. Diamond Brut Trout. I was fishing for cutthroat trout with a six spoon, which is a silver bait, for example. You see the cutthroat silver here. I used the six spoon because I was trying to catch some of the smaller ones up and make room for that diamond to spawn. Buddy of mine, Tiger Dad, caught a diamond cutthroat in the boat right beside me. Like right after I caught the brook trout. That's the big secret tip is use smaller hooks. You know, look at the hook chart. Don't use the so small that you're over here in the white. I mean, you want to make sure it's not so small that they don't bite it. And I don't like to drop below like a silver bait. If there, there's a variety of fish in that pond, I like to bring this hook chart up and just compare them all and say, what size hook or bait or lure can I use that all of those will bite? And then perhaps I can catch me a diamond of those five fish that are in that pond. Instead of targeting one fish, I could have a diamond swimming around in that pond of another fish and not even know about it. And I'm eliminating that fish or those other fish because I'm not even using a bait that they bite on. So that's the strategy is use the handbook and find out what baits, and that's just gonna list their top three when you look at the bait and lure preference. Hit the tab button and it'll show you even more. So there's just four baits that the kokanee bites on. The jerk bait is left off there, but when you hit tab, you see it, right? And look at their traits too. You know, we pull up, he's aggressive. So if I'm float fishing, the kokanee's just gonna bite it right off the bat. Another strategy that you can use, you can stay at a spot with that smaller hook, especially if you got a good time of day, just catch a bunch of fish, maybe leave for a minute because we don't know how soon the respawns get put in. Maybe there's a little bit of a delay. Maybe they're put in immediately. I don't know. Uh, maybe they won't bite as soon as they're put in. Maybe there's like a 15 minute cool down before they bite again or something. We don't know. And I'm glad we don't know really because it keeps the mystery there. So maybe you go, after you've caught a bunch and it dries up, you go to another lake, you fish a little bit, and then come back and check your response. Now, that's an option. What some people do as well is after they after it's dried up and they fished a bunch out of a pond and they've not caught anything in a while, especially if you're off the beaten trail, let's say that you've walked all the way right here. And this is kind of off the the beaten trail here. You know, you can go here or you can go down here about the same distance, get a vehicle and drive down. But let's say you're there and you've caught a bunch, it's dried up, just leave the map, join a different server because when you spawn in, it's gonna, it's gonna populate new fish. So maybe you stand there and it populates a diamond for you. You know, catch a bunch on another server and just stay at that same spot. Now that gets a little boring for me. I like to change the scenery, but however you wanna do it, that is up to you. The bluegill. What fish is this? That's interesting. It's not a sauger. Wow! That is a diamond bluegill is what that is. Bluegill story, I was actually going for the gold rank sauger mission. Fishing with minnows. And I dropped down to a six hook because I was using that same strategy. I was like, okay, let's catch some smaller sauger. Maybe we cause the gold sauger to spawn in, you know. Uh, and I caught a diamond bluegill on that because I dropped down hook size, whatever. Uh, the perch. Whoa! 
Good thing that's two times now I've dropped to a six hook and caught a diamond of another fish we weren't even going for. <laughs> There's just a diamond perch, which I caught, I don't know how many diamond perch, uh, using a blood worm, fishing for, you guessed it, the gold sunfish that everybody had struggled with forever, right? Uh, Xander. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. That's not even a pike. What is this thing? My goodness. We caught a diamond Xander off from that bait. I used the Floyd mission lure. I went to the magic pond because when you, and that's what to do. When you get that mission, if you've not done it yet, and you just have to go catch a random fish, go to the magic pond. Great place. I caught a diamond Xander right there. The Orid trout. Uh oh. This is going to be a go, guys, if it's an Orid trout. Oh, it's taking line out. And about a week into the next month. Oh, that's. A... Oh. 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 Oh, have we done it? Diamond! Diamond Orid trout! 12 pound! Diamond Orid trout, guys. Now, I was targeting the Orid trout, and I'm going to try to remember where I caught it at. It was in one of these. I want to say it was right there. I was using bait. Most of those fish would bite on. Use that variety, baby. That's the secret. Use a smaller hook size. Use a good hot bait that several things will bite. Minnows around the board is just a really good. Minnows, spinners, spoons. Those are really good baits. You know, spinners and spoons for, for that, that hits a lot of fish. There's so many things that bite a size six. Let me pull this back up again. Let me show you all. Look at size six. Just about a anything on the map. If you're using a size six, just about everything on the map, except for Northern Pike, Muskie and Lake Trail. You can use a size six and catch everything. Now you're only going to catch a diamond sunfish or a diamond bluegill, but okay, that's fine. You know, you're fishing for these other things. A size six spoon hits so many spoon, spinner, whatever, whatever bait. Minnow, size six minnow will catch you a lot of these, but that's why I like using the size six. It hits everything but three fish on Golden Ridge. And then when you go over to Norway, a size five. When you go to Norway, a size five is going to get everything except for the Atlantic salmon. Now, you could also go with a size four if you don't care about roach, which I really don't. Roach are so aggravating. That's one of my least favorite fish to, to fish for. If you want to drop to a size four or go up to a size four rather, that's the hot one over on Norway, actually, is the size four if you want to eliminate the roach. So it depends on what you want to eliminate. That catches everything but a roach if you use a size four. Go fish in places where there's a lot of different fish. Use a size four. And then you're only going to catch diamond, grayling, European perch, bullhead, catfish. But then you drop down to these. You're only going to catch go goads and up. Then you get down here to asp. Catch all these fish. Size four. They're going to, they'll bite down. Like I said, they just won't bite up. So the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway is don't limit yourself. Don't just target a fish with a specific bait. Instead, use a bait that a lot of fish will bite on and use a hook size that will catch the most fish. And then you'll start catching your diamonds because you don't know what's swimming around in that body of water right there. There are several different fish swimming around in there and you're targeting a fish. You could have two or three diamonds swimming around in there and you'll never catch them because you have singled them out and you've excluded them and they won't bite the bait you're using or the hook size that you're using. So that is my strategy for you. Use that Discord. Find out where diamonds have been caught before. 
and use the correct hook size and baits. If you like this, you find it uh, helpful and you catch a diamond, please let me know. I love it when people come back and comment and they're like, hey, I used your strategy and I caught this and that. Really makes me feel good and that's, that's what it's for. That's what it's all about. I'm trying to help you guys. My name is Darth Sloan. Make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell. And we are starting to go live more on YouTube now. Tackle Tuesdays, I'm usually live at 8 p.m., about an hour before the competition starts. And then we hop in there with Bro Bra and Scarecrow and Big Rig and all those guys, and we have a blast fishing for two hours, usually with what the king of the catch is, which this week is going to be Cutthroat Trout. But anyway, hope you liked it. Hope this helps. And we'll catch you in the next video. Now, if you want to catch Silver's 2, Ooh, this guy looks juicy. Hey, this guy's big. Dang. Nice. We've hooked into one here, boys. I was mad. He's like, man, I was looking at this chick over here. You've gone and uh, interrupted my day. And I've got a toothache now, so thanks. It's a lot easier if you just lay back. Gah! Gah! Diamond Arctic Char, 20.19 pounds.